Hey guys, it's Heather from Calvin Plant, and today I want to talk to you guys about my new sticker book that released last week. When I filmed this, there was still some available, so hopefully there's still some available when this video goes live. But you can make um, so much with these words, more than just using the words in your actual weekly planner. I wanted to show you guys how to use the words to make some functional trackers. So. Um, if you don't have the colorful book, all of the same words are in my first two books. So if you were able to get one of those, you could make these and they would just be black. But I love the color. I love the colorfulness. So I'm going to be showing you how to make some with the colorful book. This book is hopefully still available on my website, kelvinplan.com. I will link it in the description in case you want to go grab yourself one. I don't have plans to restock this book, at least not anytime soon. So when it sells out, it sells out and it's gone. So I have this sticker book and then I have some um, half sheet classic paper but you could do this with full sheet paper mini paper um, whatever paper you want I'm gonna end up laminating all of these probably so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the um, punched edge because the reason I do that is then I don't have to worry about lining up the punches when I laminate and punch I can just um, go with the flow and make my new punches. So last night, I'm filming this on Monday. It doesn't actually go live until later in the week. But last night, Sunday night, I went live on Instagram and played around with some of these trackers. And I had so much fun making them that I decided to make more. So I wanted to show you the two that I made last night. They're already laminated. And then we're going to make some more. So this is one that I made um, using stickers from the floral sticker book. And it's for work. So this is if you maybe work in an office or even if you work from home and you constantly need to keep up with who you need to email, who you need to call, and who you need to follow up with. And so this is a laminated sheet that you can use over and over in your planner. When you laminate, I do suggest that you use the, um, this is my favorite brand, Staedtler, um, Wet Erase. You wanna use Wet Erase so that when you write, it doesn't wipe off in your planner. Um, it only comes off when you have like a wet rag and you rub it off. And I love this brand because it's a fine point and so it's really easy to write even in small spaces. So I made this one for work. I thought it was really cute. And then I made this one kind of for like on the go or like a week at a glance. So in the front or the top we have errands and you could list your errands for the week, chores that you need to do that week, bills that you need to pay that week. And then on the back, I did a shopping list for the week and you could fill it out. And then when you're done, use a wet erase marker, wipe it off and you're good to go. These florals were also from the floral sticker book. I just would put a floral down and then choose colors that kind of coordinate with the floral just to make a super cute tracker. So those two I already made, but we're gonna make some more. So the first thing I do is I just take a floral sticker book because um, florals are just so easy to decorate with and I flip until I find like a big clear sticker. So this one is pink and green and I'm just going to kind of lay it. I kind of want it to cover up. Let me move some of these. I want it to cover up this floral that's here. Um, so I'm just going to lay it like this. And then I'm going to grab some scissors. Okay, and then I might put this smaller one maybe up here. Because then you just have a cute half sheet. And so then I suggest flipping through your your um, sticker book just to find what it is that you want to track. So we have monthly stickers at the front. Maybe you want to, you could turn these into journaling cards and like journal about each month. Um, you could, this could be cute. We all actually probably need this. So I'm gonna take, although this probably isn't something that you would laminate. That's okay, you might. Things that get canceled, events, orders, appointments, whatever, things that get canceled. And then when you reschedule it, 
you could fill it in here that has been rescheduled. We'll laminate that and that will be a half sheet. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to take another one. Grab another big sticker. another small one up here okay here um, you could make like a must-do list you could make a to buy list oh this is good a packing list maybe you're going on a trip now with this the great thing with this is the first thing you could do is you could list all of the things that you normally pack that are gonna go with you like no matter what trip you take so I was gonna use a pink marker but I can't find this is like a peach marker. So we'll just use green. So things that are always gonna go with you. So you could say, hair supplies, makeup, chargers, Bathroom, bathroom items, um, pajamas. You're always gonna take pajamas, no matter where you're going. Um, you're always gonna need some undergarments, no matter where you're going. Mm, I'm trying to think what else are some things. I always take books. And then the rest, you can just fill in with your dots. And laminate it, fill it in with your wet erase marker and um, use it every time you travel. Pretty easy, pretty easy. So this time, A sticker on my shirt. I'm going to put this purple one. And this purple one. Okay, I'm going to go back to this. You could do like your, if you go to therapy, you could put therapy and write every appointment you have scheduled and then wipe them off and rewrite it. You could do the same thing with doctors and haircuts. Um, you could make a grocery list like I did earlier. Oh, this could be good. Library and keep a list of the books. This could actually be like a half sheet. I'm gonna cut this one in half. This is actually genius. Keep a list of the books that you wanna check out at the library, and then once you check them out, wipe it off and fill it out again. That's genius. That's genius right there. That is genius. All right, this one, we can still use. Just put another sticker here bills if you want to do like your weekly bills your monthly bills 
we might have to go back to that bill one because now I have all of these things going through my head of things that I could have done. You can make a create, things you want to create, keep a list, things you want to bake, keep a list, things you want to build, keep a list, things you need to film for YouTube, wipe it off every week. How genius would that be? Oh my gosh. For your social media planner. Oh my gosh. So we could say film on one side and on the other side. The other side you could say where are my tweezers photos if you don't if you're trying to like up your Instagram game or your YouTube but you don't want to have a whole separate social media planner make a little sheet punch it laminate it Fill in the things you need to film each week and then wipe it off. Y'all, it's literally just a sticker. It's just three stickers and it's so functional. Um, you could do the same thing with your game schedule. If you have a kid and you want to like write down their games, you could do the same thing with practices. You could do the same thing with, um, with so much. So I was thinking on the bills... Okay, with the bills, I was thinking you might need a full sheet to do this. Let's grab a full sheet. This honestly, actually, this is going to be a whole separate video. If you want to see me make a bill tracker using this and some paper, I will do it in another video because I feel like this is already getting too long and that's going to take a while. So we'll do that in a separate video. I promise I'll put it up like this week. So the next thing you're going to do is you need your laminator. These are laminating pouches. from Amazon. I got these from Amazon in like a pack of 100. Okay. Take these. Lay this here. Lay this here. I'm gonna go ahead and run that through. And then take another laminating pouch. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the top of this just because I don't want to waste that lamination. I can use it for something else. Put it back in the laminator box. Y'all, these are so cute and they're so easy. I literally just used floral stickers and my lettering sticker words. If you have not grabbed these sticker words yet, I highly recommend them because they are super cute. They're super functional. They're great. You can put them in your weekly view, put them in your monthly view. You can make all of these little trackers with them. Um, hopefully, I still have some left. When I'm filming on Monday, they had not sold out yet, but you know. I have no idea if by the time this loads if they will have sold out or not. Okay, so now I'm running through that second one. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out my paper trimmer. Trim off this extra.
then I use a Happy Planner punch to punch these. Um, it is three mil lamination, which will fit in the Happy Planner punch. If you get five mil lamination, it's not gonna fit. So just be sure that you have three mil lamination so that your punch will punch them. Why that wasn't going in. So now though, I think it's because it was kind of curled. Oh, that one barely punched. All right. So now I have all of these that I can put in my planner and use them whenever. Um, again, use a wet erase marker, write it, wipe it. Look how cute they all are. They're all so cute and it, they were so easy. And I keep these in my planner. So here is my current planner. If you go to the other section, this is where I keep them. And then I just pop them out as I need them. But that way they are in my planner so that I can easily grab them whenever. So I hope this video gave you some ideas on how to use both your floral stickers and my letter stickers. If you want my letter, I lettering stickers the black ones volume one and two have sold out but volume three should still be available on my website although inventory is getting low so at calvaplan.com if you like this video i hope you hit the like button if you want to see more of my videos hit that subscribe button and happy planning